And then when we go to the next six weeks, I we move to Alder for the lands, and then when we come to here, we actually reach really well south of the area. Hey, how you doing this morning? Let me turn this off for a second. Um, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And uh, things are going well. You know, it's not too hot in my workshop this morning. It's 85 degrees, so I'm able to keep the air condition and fan off temporarily. And what I was thinking about this morning is can a $35 shortwave radio, and this is this radio has a ton of features. You can go back and see my show on the Kato KA29 radio. It's got a ton of features. It's a AM shortwave MP3 player, recorder, it does everything. So you get a lot for $35. But what I'm concentrating on this morning is the shortwave reception. And since Radio Australia is back on the air and they seem to be stronger than ever, the question I ask myself this morning is, can I receive them? well enough to listen to them on something like this and in my workshop which has a bunch of electronics that are causing interference and as you hopefully heard at the beginning of this show I can and let's just give you a comparison let me this is just using the built-in antenna we're in my office got a lot of RF noise floating around I mean my workshop and let me turn it back on here. And I'll probably have to retune it because I didn't save that frequency. Okay, that was at 9580 on shortwave. And this is Radio Australia. It's 745. Let me turn the volume down. It's coming in good. It's 7.45 in the morning here in Florida, and it's coming in good, and I'm using the stock, there it is, whip antenna, and it's doing pretty good. Now, let me give you a comparison. Let me turn the volume back up for a second. Of course, they stopped talking. What happened to you? Oh, now, what did I hit? Did I change... The frequency. I don't know. There we go. So that's pretty good. Now I'm running my SDR and it's on. Let me turn this down. It's coming in so strong it's talking over me. I'm running my SDR, my Fifi SDR, and it's connected to the MFJ 31-foot vertical antenna. Now, let me just turn the audio on and compare it. There was somewhere a story of how people, when we navigated from Hawaii, somehow came into this coast. It's going to be there somewhere. A lot of our stories have been denied and made invisible. Now, let me turn it off. Um... It's clear. I'm not getting any static crashes or anything like that. And of course, we're comparing this little tiny speaker with my two larger, not, they're not real big, they're about five inches across computer speakers. And of course, my computer driving those speakers. But this little radio is doing a great little job. And this is just one I picked for no particular reason, except that it does have a lot of functional capability. It does not have single sideband. But it's got this nice display. Let me hold it up. Let me uh, move the antenna because I'm hitting things here. 
Let me watch. I got to be careful. These antennas will break in a heartbeat. Okay. I got it folded down. So there's the display. It's got a nice display. And if I turn the volume up. Putting it next to my headset microphone. See, you can hear. You can hear some static in there, but it's very intelligible. Again, I'm just using the built-in antenna, and it's doing a booming job. So my point is, um, these little radios will do a good job of listening to shortwave. Now, let me just see if I can find another frequency. Let me go back to my SDR and my listing. Uh, now, this should be New Guinea, which is not... Okay, that should be a station in New Guinea. And that's from, from my SDR, and it's at 7.325. It could be uh, China Radio International. They're on this same frequency. So let's see what we can get on this little guy here. Let me switch to my camera so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, 7325 software, I mean shortwave. And I don't hear anything. It's like it's totally dead. Turn the volume up. Okay. It's there, but it's very weak. Very weak. Let me uh, reposition the antenna. Nope. Can't get it. Cannot get it. So... Only this, this right now, let me turn the volume back down. Right now, with the way the band conditions, the shortwave band conditions are, you're not going to get a lot of stations on something like this. You can improve things tremendously if you attach a outside antenna. That, that'll make the really big difference, but you have to be a little careful you don't overdrive the radio. And this radio does not have a local DX switch so that if you're overdriving it, you can attenuate it. It doesn't have that. But you can also improve your reception if you get outside of your house, away from all the RF noise that's created in your house, Maybe not even your backyard is a good idea. Like my backyard has uh, power lines going overhead. So sometimes that's not a good idea. Best to go to a park or something so the power lines are fairly far away. And, of course, the higher the elevation, the better. But my Bottom line is these little guys will do a pretty good job, especially when band conditions improve. Right now, the solar flux index, the index is in the 70s, the high 70s, not good either. But as you saw at the start of the program, I can receive Radio Australia right now. So that's the whole point of this show is that you do not have to have a $150 and up shortwave radio to receive shortwave. It does help. Yes, it does help. And I'm really not trying to compare this $35 radio with a radio that costs $150, $200. But it's practical to use one of these, to listen to shortwave you know what you're doing, you know what you're looking for, and you have patience, lots of patience. Because um, one minute a station will be booming in and then it's gone. Um, you'll receive a, a station real strong one day. The next day, the next 10 days, you try to receive it, you can't get it at all. That's shortwave. 
So anyway, that's the show for today. I really like this radio for a portable $35 radio. See, Kato KA29. If you didn't see my review, go back and watch my review. It's got a lot of features. That's it. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. That gives me an indication that I'm doing shows that you enjoy. If you didn't like the show, yeah, you can use that other button. Bye-bye. Oh, I hit the wrong button trying to stop this video, and I hit the wrong button. Oh, dummy. Okay.